Dr. Toyo's here. I'm going to answer the age-old question. How do you bring atrophied meibomian glands back? Your meibomian glands are the glands right here on the lid margin. You got about 20 of these glands and they usually make a nice olive oil-like secretion. When you have meibomian gland dysfunction and dry eye, instead of olive oil, they're making more of a toothpaste-like secretion. So those glands get blocked. When those glands get blocked, little by little, if they're not being used, they start to atrophy. It's like if I were to put a cast on your arm and you're not using those muscles, those muscles would atrophy. You take the cast off and you see a very thin arm instead of a very muscular arm. But with rehab, you can bring those muscles back and then the arm looks normal again. Same thing with the meibomian glands. They're not being used, so they uh, the body sends no energy to them, so they start to atrophy. So when you do a mybography, which is that picture up there in the middle, what you'll see is glands that have disappeared, but they're not gone. We actually have done confocal and show that those glands are still there. They just need energy and they need to be used to bring back. So let's go with uh, first steps. First steps is to get energy to them. So I do intense pulse light, bringing 10 to 15 joules of energy uh, to stimulate the mitochondria and the cells to come back and work normally. We express these glands to get all of that toothpaste out so that we have a normal gland working. Now, what do we do at home to give those glands energy and keep them working? That's where we use uh, low level light treatment. So red light, and that's the picture that you see way up there uh, to the left and also uh, light there that you see uh, utilizing the mask and I'll talk about how we utilize both of those but using an at-home light treatment right on to the glands this is the Q which is an at-home light treatment that I have patients use now say we have stubborn glands that uh, just doing IPL with expression and doing low light, low level light treatment uh, isn't bringing the glands back, then I use platelet rich plasma. So we could use platelet rich plasma drops, usually I'll use the drops to rejuvenate the cornea and bring back nerves, but how can we use platelet rich plasma to bring back the meibomian glands? In PRP, not only do we have nerve growth factor, but we have insulin-like growth factor, which is great for bringing cells back. So what we do is we inject PRP into the meibomian glands, and you can inject PRP into the lacrimal gland. Now, instead of using a big needle to inject in those areas, we don't want to hurt the glands that are there. What I use is micro needles. These are 19 micro needles. They're 32 gauge, tiny, tiny, tiny. And what we do is micro needling PRP into the glands. Now we can actually control the depth of how far we inject that PRP. So just like if you're getting PRP in your knee, we're actually spreading that PRP around the joint right, to bring back cartilage. This is the same thing we're doing with PRP to the meibomian glands is that we're not injecting directly into the glands so that the needles aren't hurting uh, the glands. We're injecting PRP so it's surrounding those glands and giving those growth factors to bring uh, those glands back. Another thing we do with stubborn glands is we can put some O2, what's called an O2 cream, to actually get oxygen drive oxygen into those glands. With more oxygen, you can get more revitalization of those glands. One way to drive that in there is by using low level light treatment. So you can put the cream on and then do the uh, Q at home to drive in some more oxygen into those glands. Or you can come in office, we put the O2 cream on and then do low level light to drive in uh, more of that oxygen. Now this all, as you know, I have a holistic approach. If your diet isn't good, then you're not feeding the nutrients to the glands to function normally. They need coenzymes to, to 
get the mitochondria to work normally. The coenzymes like CoQ10 and NAD. So there's actually foods, if you uh, eat the proper diet, not have an acidic gut, this is what's all in the Toyo's dry eye diet, you can get these coenzymes to get these mitochondria to work better. As we get older, our percentage of NAD and CoQ10 naturally go down, so we have to supplement that. So as patients come in here who are older and have meibomian gland atrophy, not only do we do IPL, not only do we do low level light treatment, not only do we do PRP, but I, not only do we do low level light treatment with O2, with oxygen cream, but we also supplement with CoQ10 and NAD, these coenzymes that your mitochondria need to function normally. The big overarching idea here is these glands are not gone. The only time I've seen glands that are completely gone is if somebody's been using too many retinoids, some vitamin A derivatives, so that's like Accutane, retinoids. Sometimes those patients will have scarring of the glands. If you have a bad reaction to medications like Steven Johnson syndrome, like taking an antibiotic and having a really, really intense immune reaction to it, you can get scarred down glands that may or may not come back. The other time that I've seen this is with probing. If I don't believe in probing, don't do probing. Uh, it's not been proven to, act, to work, so I would never recommend that to anybody. But I've seen patients who have been probed that, that have actually had their glands transected. So you can imagine if a gland has a any kind of weird shape and you put a metal uh, 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 spike through it, you can actually cut that gland that can cause scarring and those glands uh, won't come back and I've seen that uh, as well. But if you don't have all those things and you have uh, my biography that shows that there's no glands there, guess what, there's glands there and we can bring them back.